Hola, this video will help you to navigate through your Spanish program Portales. Once you created your account, which you should have, um, uh, by the way, this is a generic course. This is not your specific course. Uh, this is a generic online course. You're gonna be able to see this actually home page. You can uh, edit your profile, upload a picture, and these actually are some articles loaded by the publisher. This is where you actually click on Portales, your program, and you are in the class. This is your dashboard, which kind of gives you a little bit of idea of what's coming next. You're going to get notifications here sometimes from me. You're not going to get any announcements here because all announcements and emails are really done in my courses. However, your entire program is right here where it says content. So I'm going to go to activities. And here is basically your course, your ebook. If you purchase actually your textbook, you will see that it's exactly the same, the same tabs as in the textbook. So you're going to see your contextos, your fotonovela, pronunciación, cultura, estructura, adelante, and panorama, and lista de vocabulario, which are all the tabs in your textbook. You're going to see all the lessons right here, and in Spanish 1, we only uh, study the first six lessons. You can actually see the rest of the textbook here, but nothing will be assigned past lesson, one, uh, lesson 6. Lesson 6 is the last one. So we're going to go back to lesson 1, and I highly recommend you that as I'm going through this, you open your textbook and do the same as uh, you're watching the video. So open a new browser while you're watching the video and do it simultaneously to really understand how this works. Now, um, the first section is called Contextos. As you see, there are different sections in Contextos. And by the way, Contextos means the vocabulary, the contextualized vocabulary. Um, the, you're not going to see a list of vocabulary starting right at the beginning of each lesson. You actually see that at the end of the lesson right here where it says list of the vocabulary. And you can open the same um, list of vocabulary as you s see in the textbook. Uh, this is the useful vocabulary that will be used during the uh, lesson. And you're going to see it, hopefully if it opens, you're going to see it in Spanish as well as in English. The only thing that here you can actually listen to it. Saludos. So that's very important. You can hear Hola. the vocabulary, Buenos the pronunciation días. of the vocabulary. So I'm going to return to activities. And this is the way you turn. Don't actually use the back arrow, but go to return to activities. You can also use this return to activities. So I'm going to return to activities. Hopefully it will work this time. And again, I'm going back to Contextos. And the idea of this program is that you don't see small little words and nouns and verbs separate. You start with the whole language, such as it shows right here. And then you go to small pieces of Click on of the, the audio language. icons to listen to the words. So here you're going to see, just in the textbook, some uh, short uh, dialogues where people are greeting and introducing yourself. The only difference is that here you actually can um, listen to the dialogue. Patricia, le presento a Jorge Perales. Patricia, le presento a Jorge Perales. Encantada. Igualmente. ¿De dónde es? I'm going to stop it every time. I can repeat it. I can stop it. I can do the speed control fast, default, or slow. I can also read it in English. However, I don't recommend you, I really recommend you to lo look at it in Spanish, even though if you're new to the language. And you can see here that there are other audios. At any time, you can go to the dictionary or the vocabulary to, to um, go to understand a little bit better what's going on here, okay? These are tutorials that are very, very important. You can also see the section called Variación Léxica, which is a variation of, you know, like in Colombia, how they say it, and Ayuda, which means help. And this kind of like a little bit of help in some aspects that it might, you might not see. Very, very important for you to uh, pay attention to this. For example, the difference between tú and usted, okay? 
So also, you have the objectives of this activity and how to use the activity. So there's a lot of help here. Anytime you want to, you have to write, you will see that you will be able to use the Spanish symbols up here. At any time during any activity, you can send me a, a email within, actually, Portales. So if you have any specific question, I might take a little bit to get back because people bombard me with questions. Um, but sometimes you're just doing an activity and you want a specific answer to uh, about that activity. You can send me right here in an email. So I'm going to return to an activity. And by the way, that will get within Portales. And then you have these tutorials. These are all very important tutorials. So. Start the tutorial. Listen and repeat the words. Patricia, le presento a... As you see here, it's very contextualized, showing videos, which are very, very important. The visuals will help you to retain vocabulary. Also, notice here that you can see when these activities do, at what time, and you can see also which kind of uh, the grade setting. For example, for this activity, it says that this activity created um, is, is a graded activity. It's a credit activity. That means that it will be graded. And um, late work is accepted. I want to re reiterate that this system actually is programmed that activities late will be graded, uh, accepted, but there's a 5% penalty per day for each activity submitted less. So it's 5%, 10%, et cetera, et cetera. I, uh, by the way, I can see how long you take watching these tutorials um, and when you watch all these tutorials. After you watch the tutorials, sorry, takes a little bit. Uh, there are four tutorials for each contextus. Then there is one that you can get to try it. So this is a great activity to actually interact. Match the words with the pictures. For example, here, Celia Cruz, that's el nombre. It's a great way to actually see how much you were able to retain from you know, the previous tutorials. So this is just the tutorials that has to do with the contextus, which is a very, very important part of the lesson, the whole language contextualized, okay? And then uh, we start with all the practice activities. As you can see here, the, the due dates are very clear. And uh, even though in the Explore and Learn, I choose all the activities. In the practice, communicates and subject, I will choose some activities. And you'll see exactly which are the ones that I chose because you can see the deadline. If there is a headphone right here, it's because you need, it's an audio activity. If you see a microphone, it's because it, it, and you need a microphone to record that activity. If you see an apple, is because it's an instructor graded activity. Anytime you see an icon like this with a black and white is because this activity is a virtual chat. Anytime you see a partner chat, you'll see a black and black. I will let you know uh, right now that these activities are not going to be assigned um, for this semester. But you will get recording activities and virtual activities with microphone. Okay. So, for example, in this case, you're going to open this activity and you're going to listen and you have to choose between these two answers. Uno. ¿Cómo te llamas? So the answer, ¿Cómo te llamas? The question would be, muy bien, gracias, o me llamo Graciela. If I choose this one, because this is just between two choices, most of the activities, they let you to two attempts, unless they have a multiple, it's a, a two only answers, or there's a true or false, and then you will have only one attempt. So I'm going to do randomly some uh, answers. Obviously, you should never be doing this. And I'm going to, I can save it, but nothing will be sent really to, as a submission unless you submit it. You don't need to save it. You can save it just in case but you need to submit it in order to actually go through. 
As you see, I completed 12 out of 20. It says that this actually, if I want to repeat it, this is going to be a practice activity because this only gave me two choices per answer. So that means that's the result. The result is that I got 60%. So this is one kind of activity. I'm going to, um, I can practice and do it again or I will turn to activity. This was a very simple activity. I'm going to see another one right here where I have there, um, I need a microphone, I need, um, so in this activity, it says click each item to hear a question and record yourself, stating the answer from the list. Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Hola, ¿qué tal? For some reason, it didn't want to record. <laughs> However, uh, let's try this one. ¿Qué hay de nuevo? Nada. That's what happened. I didn't wait. Nada. Te presento a Marta Andrade. So I wait. Mucho gusto. I stop. And now I can review. Mucho gusto. I stop. Now I can always re-record. So if I want to record, it's going to replace existing recording. Okay? And then I submit such as before, okay? So I'm gonna go back. And then, UK, I wanted to show you um, some activities that are written. For example, this conversation, which is a sign. So in this activity, you have a list of words and you have to complete this activity. So once I submit the activity, I'm gonna submit it anyway, you're going to see that I can retry. This type of activity, it lets me retry because there are many answers, that many possibility of answers. So even though the first time I got zero out of 28 and they're all wrong, the second time around, I can retry it unless I decide to accept it. And then that one will be the one that will be the right, um, the, the submission. If not, I can always retry it, okay? You can always get better grade the second time around because the second time around, it will give you the option to accept the first correct answers and submit the ones that were wrong. Finally, I wanted to show you an activity that is a virtual activity. So I'm gonna go to this virtual chat and it's important that they know my gender. So I'm female. And I'm going to talk to this avatar. Hola, me llamo Juan Pablo. ¿Cómo te llamas tú? So I'm going to wait to record while they ask me. And now it's my turn. Me llamo Roxana. Soy de Puerto Rico. ¿Y tú? Soy de Argentina. Now ask me questions based on the answers you see on the screen. So you, uh, you see that I cannot submit it until the whole activity is over. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Muy bien, adiós, hasta luego. Now I can submit it. Or I can redo the activity. So this is called a virtual chat. At any time, also, I can check the vocabulary list. Um, so hopefully it will open. And you're going to see that list of words that I showed you at the beginning of the semester, which are the active words used in the lesson. So this is a great resource. Um, so I'm going to return to activities. And that's basically what you have for the contextual section of lesson one, the first part. In the first week of each lesson, you will be assigned contextos, fotonovela, pronunciación, and cultura. So I'm going to go to fotonovela, which is a soap opera. 
The fotonovela, the soap opera, always will be assigned the full episode. You can go, 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 go to go and open. Click start to watch the complete fotonovela episode. So I'm going to watch it right here. And you will see that you should have the opportunity to watch with Spanish subtitles and Spanish transcript, which I recommend you, the Spanish transcript. So you can watch it. At, I'm sorry, you have to hear Spanish transcript or Spanish subtitles. That's the one that I recommend you. So you're going to be able to see that you have the Spanish transcript that, um, right here. So you watch the video, it's a great video that uh, goes through lesson one all the way to the end of, of, um, of the book. So it's a, a very interesting program. And you might have some activities such as cierto or falso uh, in regards to what you watch. Again, keep in mind that I can see how long you actually spend watching the video, when did you watch it, etc. And there might be other activities assigned right here. Pronunciation has to do with pronunciation. And again, this is all in the textbook, but here it's interactive. So you are able actually to listen to the Start the tutorial. Pronunciación. The Spanish alphabet. The Spanish and English alphabets are almost identical. So this is very, very important because you are actually able to listen to this and it's interactive. The last uh, uh, tab that you're going to watch in, uh, you're going to be uh, required to complete in the, from the first week of each lesson is Cultura. Cultura, as you see, usually uh, I'm going to assign the first part that talks to you about Look a little at the bit pictures about the cultura. and read the descriptions. Um, a lot of this is also in the textbook, if you have the textbook, but you don't have to have it. It is uh, not a requirement. This is true and false. And then um, there are some other activities that I may assign or not. Again, it's very clear right here which activities that are assigned. At any time, you can go to the course dashboard and actually access the activities right here. So I can go to Contextos. It's coming. This failed, but it's coming. And Click on the audio icons to listen to the words. So you can actually access any activity assigned for the explore, learn, practice, communicate, and subject of contextos right here. So you can go directly to the activities. These are all the activities that are assigned. If you get Start a check, the tutorial. if you get a check, is that you completed the activity. I recommend you to actually check that once you're done to make sure that you complete it. But unless you actually are in your content activity, right here, you won't be able to see the entire program. And I, I urge you to actually work around from here. You can do any of these other activities, which are not necessarily uh, assigned, but they're practice and they're great, great practice. And some of them are graded by the computer, even though you might not be required. Also in the calendar, you're going to see how long uh, how many hours an estimate you will have to spend and how many homework activities are there. Usually the first week is shorter, the second week that has the grammar is long longer. You're going to see also a lesson test, but I'll go into details when it, uh, I explain this section. This is just a short recommendation and as I said, uh, uh, no recommendation, it's a short, um, an, an idea of how many hours. This is just a sample course, this is not your course, so don't take into consideration that will be two hours. The rule of thumb is that it will take you between um, eight to 10 hours a week to complete uh, what is assigned. Keep in mind that the second week is usually longer. I'm gonna go into grades later uh, after the first week of class. I don't want you to worry about it but there's a whole section that shows your grades, your summary, details, etc. okay? I hope uh, so far this is helping. I'm gonna go back to my uh, activities and I'm gonna actually open a second video to go on to the second section of Portales. Adios.